after 53 years of my life, I finally understand what self-discipline is. And God bless my mother. Ever since I was a little girl, she always used to say, you like discipline. You have no self-discipline. And I used to wonder what she meant about that. But unfortunately, she never told me. She never told me what discipline was. She certainly didn't tell me how to practice it. And she never told me the value of it. Now, all these years later, I finally get it. Self-discipline is a word that you hear, but it is seldom explained. But now that I know, I'm going to explain it to you. First of all, it's a practice. It's not a thing in itself. It's a practice. So that's the first thing to know. The second thing to know is a person would not practice self-discipline if they don't have a reason, a purpose, or goal in mind. You have to have a reason, a purpose, or a goal in mind to practice self-discipline. Because it is self-discipline, the first thing you do is this. You first have to decide what type of person you want to be. What characteristics you want to develop. You put your focus on those characteristics and you use self-discipline to develop them and you have to be absolutely having no regard of anything that's happening outside of yourself for the purposes of clarification I'll give you an example the person that you have envisioned for yourself is one who is calm, cool, and collected under all circumstances. But this person meets someone who is outraged, who is screaming, yelling, fussing, calling them names, being critical. But you want to be calm, cool, and collective. So, you exercise self-discipline by not being reactive because you have a goal in mind, which is to be calm, cool, and collective. So you will not allow this person's behavior or what's going on outside of yourself to get you off of your goal. That's what it means to be self-disciplined. Your actions and your, and your decisions are not based on anyone else but your own inner vision and goal that you have for your own development spiritually, physically, mentally, and materially. This is how one exercises self-discipline in an effective way. As to any regards of habits and ways of being within yourself, when you have a goal in mind of the type of person you want to be, you exercise self-discipline. In exactly the same way you will regard others outside of yourself by putting no regard on how you go going to act, you apply the same practice to yourself. For example, if you are in the habit of being lazy, well then you just pick yourself up by the seat of your pants and say, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Because this is the type of person I want to be. You put little regard on the old habits. You put value and importance on your goal. 
and that's how you exercise self-discipline for yourself, in yourself, and with yourself. And in the development, the development of those characteristics, you will be exercising self-discipline. The second thing is in your vision, where do you see this person living? How is this person living? What lifestyle is this person living? This character that you are aiming to be. And once you have that clearly in mind, you put your focus and going towards that. And in doing that, you are exercising self-discipline. On the road of your journey of becoming a particular type of person, and this person living a particular lifestyle, you will be exercising self-discipline. Now the operative word is self meaning you have to keep your focus on yourself and that which you set out to achieve, irrespective of anybody or anything or any event that's going on outside of yourself. And that is basically self-discipline in a nutshell. I now understand that is through the practice of self-discipline is the road to lead to self-mastery. You cannot master yourself and achieve that which you are capable of doing without self-discipline. It truly is the road of self-mastery. And the benefits of self-mastery is you become strong in character you become enlightened in spirit and you become successful in life. Self-discipline truly is a valuable practice to practice. Well, I hope this was helpful to someone. It took me 53 years to figure this out but I'm not going to waste any more time. God blessings upon you all.